Hey guys, Morgan here from Hall's Fishing Systems. We're here today at Uratiti Beach with the Predator 54 pound thrust Auto Nav Contiki. What Auto Nav means is that it runs off a compass direction, so you point this one where you want it to go and it automatically keeps that compass bearing. You do still need to account for the current. So the Predator 54 pound thrust is one of the most powerful Contikis on the market so it's built for a lot bigger surf than what we're actually fishing in today but you'll see how it all works and you'll also see what other gear is actually required to get Contiki fishing. Now Predator is one of many different Contiki manufacturers that we stock and sell so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see what else we have to offer. So you'll see Nathan here, he's got a couple of different trace racks. The aluminium trace rack there is the standard trace rack that comes with the Predator Contiki setups. The wooden trace rack that we're actually going to be using comes with our PFS target snapper hooks, which are scientifically proven to catch more legal size and less undersized snapper. And we're also using floating beads on our traces, mainly because this, this beach here is renowned for having a lot of crabs. So these floating beads keep your bait off the bottom as your gear is going out to keep your bait away from the crabs so your baits actually get out to where the fish are in good condition. They also serve as a visual attractant for the fish and you'll notice if you watch any of our other videos with our boat long lines from years ago we've been using these beads for a very long time. You tend to catch bigger snapper on the traces that have floating beads on them. Now one thing that you do need to remember is that all of those little polystyrene beads do add up in buoyancy so you do want to add a little bit of extra weight along your line so we usually start with the big sinker on the front and then every six or eight traces we clip an extra sinker on just to counteract the buoyancy of the beads. Another theme that you'll notice across most of our videos is that we're using firm baits like mullet. Fresh mullet is our preference if we can find it otherwise we're using salted. Frozen's okay but fresh is always best. So when you're baiting up, hook it through once through one end of the bait, so through the flesh and out through the skin as you'll see there, through one end of the bait. Not through the middle, not multiple times, not tied on. So the 54 pound Predator Contiki comes standard with three 12 volt 9 amp batteries, that's these ones here. Now we do have lithium options available as well. So we do lead acid batteries and lithium batteries for all of the major brands of Contiki, so Seahorse, Predator, Kentiki, Power Tiki, Bullet Fishing, GT Contiki, even Conrad Meyer, um, whatever you need just get in touch with us and we'll be able to help you out. We do most replacement parts for most of them as well, um, or we'll be able to point you in the right direction. So these here, you're putting your three batteries in just one by one, plug one in, slide it forward, Put the next one in, slide it forward. Once you've got all of your batteries in there and they're all plugged in, you close your seal, make sure that you do this up nice and tight, that's going to prevent any water from leaking in. Before you do that you do want to check your seal, just make sure it doesn't have any cracks in it or no sand or grit that's going to compromise the seal of water getting into it. Now when you're finished you do want to leave that hatch handle facing straight. You'd be surprised how much drag that will put on a wave if it's not straight. So make sure that you leave it straight like Nathan does here. Now to select your time and your direction on these you've got a little panel on the top here so that flashing light that's just indicating that you need to set the direction and your timer so to set your direction you point it in the direction you want it to go hold the switch forward for about two seconds you'll see the lights flash click that switch forward again to select your time and then when you're ready to put it in the water you click it back to start and you can also click it back to stop it now, this particular winch is the PFS 230 watt Contiki winch this isn't the winch that comes standard with the Predator rigs this one here is the Predator winch that comes with the Predator Contiki package. 
Again, we do many different brands, so if you want to know the difference between them all, just give us a call or send us an email. So we're ready to set the contacty now. So winch is in freeze ball that allows the line to come off easily. So we've already set the direction as described before. So batteries are all plugged in. All we need to do now is put it in the water and flick the switch back towards yourself and that turns the motor on. Now you do need to get your feet wet so you have to go about knee deep is best just so that the Comtiki is in plenty of water so that when the motor actually starts it can just fire straight away like that. So the Predator winch comes standard with 150 meter leader section so that's the distance between the Comtiki and your first sinker right before your hook section starts. Then you've got 150 meters of stoppered section that's where you clip your traces onto and then the remainder is about 1700 meters so about two kilometers altogether so here Nathan's just waiting for the first stopper to come up and then he's going to be clipping that big sinker on on the bigger contickies like the 54 pound thrust predators you can use anything between 500 to a thousand grams Nathan's got a kilo on there so first weight's on, let two stops go, clip a trace on, let two stops go, clip another trace on. That's just allowing a gap between the traces so that they can't come together and tangle with themselves. And every six to eight hooks you want to put a sinker in between them just to keep that line down on the bottom. Once you've clipped on all of your traces, Comtiki is just going to go out until it's at its preset time and then the motor will switch off. And just showing here a couple of the lithium ion battery packs that we have available. So these 12 volt 40 amps, they're ideal for winches and the 18.2 amp are very popular for inside the Comtiki. So these are the same size as the standard 9 amp batteries and the 40 amps are the same size as the standard 12 or 14s in the seagulls. So there's our Predator Comtiki still charging its way out nearly two kilometers offshore. You'll see the Whangarei heads just off to the left hand side of the screen there. This shot here gives you an indication of the speed that the Contikis are pulling these lines out. So bear in mind this is the 54 pound thrust motor. There are smaller ones available so not all of them do go this speed. And the rougher the surface the slower they go as well. Once your Contiki stops, we recommend leaving it out for around 40 minutes to an hour on the east coast and about 15 minutes to 20 minutes on the west coast. Shorter sets are suggested for the west coast because of the risk of sharks. Now when it's time to haul in the line, you plug the winch into the battery and just turn it on. So Nathan's just bringing them in trace by trace at the moment. So bring it in, stop it when you come to a trace pull the trace or the fish off, deal with that and then continue on. Now you'll notice if you're using our target snapper hooks that most of the snapper you catch will be lip hooked. All of the undersized snapper that you catch are lip hooked so you release them they live. Beautiful fish, 
Once you come to the end of your hook section, unclip your sinker that was set at the start of your hook section. And then you've just got your leader line and then your comp ticket to bring in. Here's the Predator being towed back into shore, nearly in now, not far to go. So depending on how far you're setting your gear, it can take anywhere between hour and a half to two hours for a single set so we set this Kontaki out for about half an hour so that's 30 minutes of run time on the way out which gets you out to in this case it was beyond 2000 meters and then about another half an hour to wind it back in plus the hour that you're going to leave it to soak out on the east coast here So four snapper off that set, Nathan's just giving them a quick wash before he throws them in the chilli bin. As you can see, fishing with the Kontiki is a very easy way of catching fish. We offer quite a few different fishing systems, so give us a call or send us an email if you've got anything specific you want to do. We specialise in alternative land based fishing, so Kontikis, kites, and drones. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our videos and subscribe to our newsletter to come along to one of our demos.